I'm Fries, that's Freedom, and today we're dealing with a bunch of bull crap. The past couple weeks have actually been a complete nightmare. I purchased a brake line relocation kit from Chase Bays to eliminate the ABS system because the ABS system often holds air and I don't have the tool to properly bleed the brakes. So I figured this would be a good idea, except I've broken the T. I reordered the T in order to replace it so I could make sure that everything was buttoned up and fine, except I ordered the wrong T. And so now I have the right one coming and it should be, it should have been here today. Why didn't I get that? I gotta go check and see if that came in. That's not good. I need that so that I can drive the car tomorrow so that I can get an alignment. I hate my life. Okay. Yeah. So that didn't come in, even though I paid for the fast shipping. Uh, so that means I'm not gonna be able to drive it to get an alignment tomorrow which means I'm gonna have to do an eyeball alignment, which is not the way I wanted to test out the new angle kit. We're gonna fucking send it anyway. So the main thing I have to do today is deal with this tie rod that's bad, um, get some lateral movement in there, and replace a ball joint. Because like I said, the car was hit on the right side. Um, clearly this ball joint was replaced. It was replaced with an aftermarket unit and whoever installed it, apparently lost the nut and decided to install whatever nut they had on it. And it was fine, but they cross-threaded the shit out of it. So the threads on the ball joint are absolutely destroyed. The, the nut itself doesn't fit on it. So I have to replace it with a new unit. And then I'm gonna do that little eyeball alignment to make sure everything's straight and just button up the car as much as I possibly can. Install the T, bleed the brakes, and get to the event with literally no sleep again because that's apparently what drifting is. So I've never done a ball joint before, um, and the tool I have is super long. I can't get the car very high off the ground, so it's gonna be a whole experiment. So because of the time constraint, I went with a Duralast ball joint. So whatever, it's a ball joint. It should be okay. <clears throat> Doesn't look like it comes with the cone, which is fine, I'll just take it off the other one. But this nut should fit, and that's what we really care about, so. I guess let's see if this toolkit is going to work. Got a bunch of metal cylinders and stuff. Let's see if we got one that fits. It's too small. That might work. Whatever. We're going to take a look at it and see what we can do. This fucking sucks. We're going to start by removing the hub from the GK Tech angle kit. This angle is obviously horrible for video, but I got to do work. It's 8.30 and I work at 5 a.m. tomorrow. So let's get started. So using that kit didn't work at all. So if you own a 350Z and you're trying to remove your ball joint, do not get the kit from AutoZone or apparently O'Reilly Auto Parts. Apparently the only kit that will work is one that can be loaned from Advance Auto. So I got the big boy kit and we're gonna try that out. This place is just simply a mess, but we're in a time crunch and we're trying to knock things out so we can slide tomorrow. So that may cause it it's mostly straight. Can we get a good angle. Let's put the battery on and see if this works. If not, I got a buddy with a press and that'll be the next step. So let's hit it. Good, 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 good. Fantastic, fantastic. Good. Look at that. Look at that. Cool. Let's uh, let's get the new one in. I'm gonna clean this up first. Let's clean her up a little bit. A little lubricant never hurt anybody. Never used PB Blaster as a lubricant before, but I mean, I guess that's you know, kind of what it is.
yeah, it was the difference between getting the GK Tech uh, lower control arms for the angle kit on was just a little bit of PB Blaster. Um, so yeah, seems to work pretty okay. That's better than nothing, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's, that's probably what we're gonna do. I guess I'd rather be a little bit on the boot than a lot of bit on the boot. So what do you think about that? I like cars. I do not like learning experiences when it's this close to an event. Actually, I just don't like learning experience. I just want to know everything. So that'd be tight too. Driver home, I guess. No, oh, look, it's a little weight savings. Just trimmed a little bit off. Could have been worse. Put this bad boy back because this kit was expensive to rent. Let's put this away and use it again another day because I'm sure the other side's going to have to be fixed. So I'm stoked. That was the deciding factor of whether I'm going to drift tomorrow. I've got it on. I'm going to put snap clip on and install it. And then I'm going to eyeball align it. I hopefully will drive it around enough to make sure that it's decent. Yeah, I mean, it's not gonna perform the best, but whatever, you know? It just means that I'll really truly be able to test the GK Tech kit the next, next event. <laughs> okay, so now, thank God, the brake tee came in from Chase Bays. So I'm gonna put that on. Hopefully don't snap that because that's the true deciding factor, I guess. I need brakes to do any of this. Um, and then, okay, we're gonna get ready. So when you're tightening this T, make sure that you don't over tighten it because if you do, you'll have a jigsaw puzzle that does not go back together. Now that the ball joint is in, I put the T into the brake line as you just saw. We're going to reinstall the suspension and put some brake fluid in there and, I don't know, send it. Midnight, and I think this is as good as it's gonna get. Uh, I got the brake line T on, I bled the brakes, everything seems firm and good to go. Um, I did an eyeball alignment, I'm gonna go drive it, just make sure it drives straight, just double check the camber. Although if it's way, way off, I'll fix it. If it's not, I, I really don't have the time to. Um, and then I'm gonna load up the truck and I, we're gonna go to the event. 